How's it going everybody? Welcome to One Life on Earth. My name is Kevin and today we're going to talk about how to climb Cathedral Peak in South Africa. My brother and I did this hike. <laughs> and I think the best way to tell you how to do it is to tell you our story about how we did it. So we flew into Johannesburg. We got a rental car. We drove south down these highways here to the Cathedral Peak area. Now this is in the Draken Drakensberg Mountains. Uh, they kind of make up the border of Lesotho and South Africa. It's kind of a whole mountain range there. And while you're hiking through the Drakensberg into Cathedral Peak, you're kind of right on the border of Lesotho. Anyway, we drove in from the north there from Johannesburg through these highways. The highways there in South Africa are really nice and efficient. And then as you get closer to Cathedral Peak, it kind of turns into more rural villages and houses and you're kind of driving through like little school zones and villages. Eventually we got to the Cathedral Peak area. Now kind of the base camp for Cathedral Peak is a place called Cathedral Peak Hotel. On our trip, we were kind of on a budget, so we weren't staying at the hotel. We ended up camping in our car at the Cathedral Peak Hotel parking lot, which was kind of a whole story all in its own. So we were sleeping there the night after we did the hike. We were sleeping in our car, and about 1 a.m. in the pitch black there, all of a sudden we wake up to these attack German shepherds clawing at our door and barking at our window. It was kind of a crazy thing to wake up to. Anyway, we rolled down the window and these German shepherds were attached to like the security guy there who worked at the hotel. He was just asking us what we were doing. And uh, after kind of talking to him, he just let us stay there for the night. So before that night, before the dog fiasco, we were trying to figure out where exactly we were going and where this trail started to get up into Cathedral Peak. Uh, side note to get in here, to the Cathedral Peak area and the hotel area. There are one or two gates, so you have to pay to get in. It's like $2 to get in through the gate. Anyway, so in the morning when we were at the kind of the base camp area here, we parked our car, it was about 10 a.m. We were kind of dinking around, getting ready for the hike, getting our boots ready and our packs ready and our food and water situation going. The day kept progressing and we hadn't started the hike yet. So we started around 11 maybe, which was mistake number one. Definitely if you're here, you're gonna wanna start earlier than that. Probably try and start first thing in the morning because we definitely underestimated how long this hike would take. This is an all day hike. It's like climbing a, one of the big mountains in America. It takes all day. So don't underestimate it. Make sure you have all day to do it. So in the back of this hotel, basically that's where the trails start. It's kind of hard to figure out what you're doing because there are a bunch of random little trails that go everywhere. What you're gonna be trying to do is to go northwest and cross this river. Uh, eventually when we went through some woods and stuff here and figured out a way across the river. There wasn't too much water there because we were kind of during a drought. So we just hopped across some rocks and got across the river. At the bottom here, actually everything was on fire because there was a wildfire spraying throughout the whole valley. And at first we were really depressed because the view was terrible and everything was covered in smoke. But thankfully, by the time we got higher in the mountains, all the smoke disappeared completely and it was really beautiful up there. So we're heading north across this river. As you can see on this map here, there are a bunch of random trails and stuff everywhere. So you're gonna be wanting to head northwest towards this very first ridgeline here. Once we got to this ridgeline, we actually went the wrong way. We went this way, straight north instead of northwest and west up the, up the hill. And we got lost in this valley for about three or four hours. <laughs> just kind of walking around trying to find a way up through these cliffs and everything and we could never figure out a way up and then eventually after a couple hours we realized that we probably went the wrong way so we had to backtrack and then go up the correct way it wasn't the end of the world though because back here it was also really cool uh, really awesome scenery we found some waterfalls and some caves and some little river jungle things so it was pretty sweet being that back there too so not really a bad thing to get lost in here. So we started to backtrack and then we went up the correct ridge line here, which is the very first one. If you zoom in here, you can see you have to zigzag back and forth to get up these cliffs. And then you're walking through this valley here, walking, 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 go up another set of cliffs. And then you're on top of the ridge line finally once you get up here. And this is where you really get to start appreciating the views. Rolling hills of green grass, no trees, no anything. It's kind of a one of a kind place out here. The satellite views on Google, you can see the different seasons when these satellites took different pictures. 
Here on the bottom, it's kind of dry and dead, kind of like how it was when we were there. Everything is more orangish than green. And then this one on the left here and this one on the right here, these pictures were taken during like the wet season when these mountains really turn a bright green, which I think would be really cool to see. But it was also really beautiful when we were there, even during the drought. And then here's a picture of Michael just totally exhausted. <laughs> This is once we got up in the middle here. So once you're up on these ridge lines here, it's a lot more obvious as to where you're going. You can kind of basically see the direction of the trail. It just follows the ridge and then up into the west and up on the Cathedral Peak. Probably the best thing about this hike, we were 100% alone. We were the only ones out here on the Cathedral Peak hike. If somewhere this beautiful existed in America, like at a national park, there'd be 10,000 people here. The feeling that you get would just be entirely different. Whereas here, it's just you, the green rolling hills, and just beauty surrounding you on all sides, and you're completely alone. It's just amazing. Follow us on Instagram at One Life on Earth. Until next time, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later.